Hello everyone. In today's session, let us try to understand the theoretical foundation of one of the teaching skill that is skill of illustrating with examples. So under this skill, let us try to understand concept and meaning of the skill, importance of the skill of illustrating with examples, components of the skill and demonstration and discussion follow in the another video. In order to understand the concept and meaning of the skill, let us try to understand the importance of the skill first. So why do we going to give the examples in a class? For a teacher, it is a challenging task to make the content understood by the learners. So for this, teacher tries to give an explanation. Usually explanation is of two types that is interpretative type and reason giving type explanation. Interpretative type of explanation usually will be given in social science content area or in humanities whereas reason giving type explanation in most of the case time we will do it in science where we can give the reasons where we will understand make the learners to learn. At the same time even in the languages teaching also especially in grammar we can provide them reasons to understand the concept so that they come out with the explanation or a definition or a formulation of rule. So this is what the task which teacher needs to do in each and every class so providing certain kind of explanation for the content which they are going to deliver in a period of class. So now let us try to understand the importance of the skill of illustrating the examples. So while when we understand the importance we will become more serious about learning the skill and practicing it in our profession. The first important of the skill was to overcome the difficulty of explanation. As I told, it is a challenging task for a teacher to provide an explanation which the way the learners can comprehend better and where they concretize the content in a simpler manner. So the difficult content need to be simplified by providing certain examples which are suitable for that concept. To help students to understand the concept easily, when the explanation given was simple by use in, uh, including the simple examples, definitely the learners can understand the concept easily without putting much burden. To develop interest in learning, surely where there is an interest, the learning will become more effective. So in order to develop interest, instead of monotonous explanation of theoretical content, by providing example, it can interest cap the learning interest in the learning can be enhanced to provide training to the sensory organs to greater extent as you know psychology emphasizes that wherever there is a training provided to the learners by including more number of sense organs the learning will become more effective the reason is instead of involving one sensory organs in the process of learning if we emphasizes to use different sense organs or more than one sense organ in a process of learning the burden will be distributed among the different sense organs where they can comprehend the content better and the, when there is a comprehension is better their understanding and finally the learning will become more enhanced to enhance the interest and attention span of the learners, surely creating interest is, is a, will be the responsibility of the teacher in the classroom teaching learning process. Where there is an interest, definitely the span of attention will be increased among the learner. Each and every learner will possess certain amount of interest and certain amount of span of attention. But enhancing this too will become the more interesting and important aspect from the teacher's side so that learning can be enhanced. And when there is an interest and there is span attention span, it, this will be ha this happens when there is the curiosity among the learners to learn something new which the teacher is going to do in a classroom teaching learning process. So arousing curiosity can be done by providing examples in a suitable manner when there is a curiosity and the person sure that the sustaining of interest will become better when there is a sustaining of interest all through the learning process their attention span will increase when there is an attention span learning will become effective. So the learned information can be remembered for long time since examples are provided to simplify the content. These are the importance of the skill. In order to use this practice, 
learn and use the skills in our teaching learning process as a teacher we need to learn try to understand what are the different processes involves in this skill the skill of illustrating with examples involves two main process that is clarifying the concept principle or a generalization or a rule to the pupils and verifying whether pupils have really learned the content or which you taught or not fine so the two main process involves in the teaching learning process is clarifying the concept which you are going to teach at the same time providing an opportunity for the learners to verify the content which they have learned so these are the two process involves in this skill too the main characteristics are the components of the skill or two that is first one formulation of examples this includes three components whereas the second major characteristic or a major component of the skill is the presentation aspect which includes two components now let us try to understand what will be the components under formulation of examples the components of formulation of examples include three sub components that is first one formulating simple examples formulating relevant examples and formulating interesting examples this formulation of examples at this stage will be done by teacher now let us try to understand what do you mean by simple examples relevant examples and interesting examples the examples are called to be simple if they are related to previous knowledge of the learners it is very simple to understand when do we say simple oh it's very simple we can understand when do we get that feel to the learners mind when they are aware about it when they previously knew about it either maybe do they, like with their day to day life experiences or it might be an example or an illustration which has been picked from the previous learning fine the simple examples are nothing but examples which are related to their previous knowledge of the learners the examples are said to be relevant if they are helping the learners to understand the concept or the they can able to apply the example to that concept fine if from the given example if the learners are capable of comprehending the concept or a rule or a principle then there those examples are said to be relevant example for that particular content fine examples are said to be interesting if they sustain the attention and curiosity and arouses the curiosity among the learners when you present an example if the learners gets a feel of raising their attention towards it or it arouses the curiosity to learn what exactly it is that indicates that those examples are interesting you can consider when you give an example oral example how it will be or when you present the same example in the form of concrete materials or in the form of demonstration or experimentation or activity or role play surely it enhances the attention of the learner so that tends to be interesting examples and the examples are uh, said to be interesting even based upon the maturity level of the learners too the reason is in the lower classes usually when you present an example in a non verbal using non verbal media such as showing objects conducting experiments activities demonstration etc seems to be interesting the same time even the oral example seems to be interesting in higher classes the reason is the learners are matured enough to comprehend the examples which you present in the form of oral also so examples are said to be interesting based upon the way in which the teacher uses the media to present fine these are the three components of present sorry formulation of example that is simple relevant interesting examples all these kind nature of examples will be presented by teacher fine now let us see the the second major component of the skill that is presentation aspect presentation aspect involves two components the first one appropriate media using appropriate media is a one of the component of presentation aspect 
here presentation is nothing but presentation of examples so what kind of media which you use in order to present examples matters more for the teacher usually the media which the teacher chooses to present example is either verbal media or non verbal media isn't it which we are all familiar verbal media is nothing but giving an oral examples in the form of stories anecdotes narrations etc are the illustrations etc at the same time non verbal media includes many more kind of presentation way of examples that is presenting concrete materials concrete materials are nothing but the live objects okay so for example if the teacher carries say part in order to teach a parts of a flower teacher carries if the flowers to the classroom they are the concrete materials if the teacher if the teacher wants to teach a like prop physical and chemical properties of metals in a chemistry class if teacher carries some metal objects or the metal utensils used at the kitchen are used in day to day life teacher carries to the classroom they will become the concrete materials fine at the same time models will be an example for non verbal media in most of the cases in biological science classes we will use the models in order to explain the characteristic typical characteristic of a phylum or a class or a family at the same time maps in a social science charts irrespective of the different subjects we can make use of charts in order to concretize the process of presenting examples at the same time diagrams pictures demonstration especially in chemistry and physics in most of the example content area we can perform simple demonstrations of the experimentations so that it will become very concrete for the learners to understand the, the concept theory or a property of the specific content at the same time even the simple activities also will be considered as the media to non verbal media of presentation of examples fine this will be the appropriate media which teacher chooses to present examples in a process of explanation fine the next component under the presentation aspect is the appropriate approach which the teacher is going to use in order to present an example which we refer as approach ida that is inductive deductive approach inductive deductive approach upon this the content which you might have learnt in your pedagogy papers in detail the same approach or the same process we are going to use it in skill of providing examples fine now let us try to understand what exactly this cons uh, up, uh, like presentation uh, uh, the second component of the presentation aspect that is inductive deductive approach inductive deductive approach in inductive deductive approach we have two different approaches that is one inductive approach the other one is deductive approach inductive approach is nothing but providing examples and making the learners to arrive at the rule okay examples to rule simply inductive approach will be referred as examples to rule fine that is generalization to specific generalize sorry specific examples to generalization so here examples are been provided by teacher from these examples when the teacher illustrates them appropriately the learners are going to formulate the rule or a concept or a property or a generalization fine so examples are provided by teacher the rule is going to be formulated by the learners or a students fine whereas deductive approach is opposite here the rule is been provided by teacher Uh, the rule or a concept or a definition or a property is being stated by the teacher and for that relevant examples will be elicited from the learners examples to rule is inductive rule to examples is deductive approach okay so when we combine these two we refer them as as a one approach that is inductive deductive approach so from this slide of when we will have the explanation for the content which is been provided in this slide helps you to understand the comprehensively the complete meaning of inductive deductive approach see in inductive deductive approach the teacher tries to provide an opportunity for the two different aspects one is clarifying the rule the another one is verifying the rule teacher helps the learners to clarify the rule which they need to learn at the same time teacher also provides an opportunity for the learners whether the concept or the rule which they have learned really they have learned or not so that is verifying the rule or the concept which they have learned 
in order to clarify the rule teacher provides an examples see teacher provides an example 1 2 3 4 any number minimum at least there should be two examples in the inductive approach okay minimum at least teacher should provide two examples again depending upon the content which the teacher teaches and the nature of the learners and the availability of the examples and the content which you are the concept or rule which you are going to teach teacher can determine the number of example which you are going to present and even time also can be considered here depending upon the constraints of the time also these are the factors teacher keeps in mind while presenting example the first one the content which the teacher teaches number of example availability of the examples of okay, nature of the learners okay time constraint by keeping these factors in the mind teacher is going to formulate the simple relevant interesting examples and illustrates them illustrates them is nothing but ask the relevant questions when teacher presents each and every experiment ah uh, sorry each and every example or experiment or demonstration or object whenever teacher presents each example in the form of object or a model or a chart or experiment demonstration teacher illustrates them by asking questions by giving instructions fine For by doing this teacher helps the learners to clarify the rule okay where at the end of the providing examples teach students are going to formulate the rule fine your teacher going to give an example where the learners are going to formulate a rule concept or a property or a principle etc this is about inductive deductive approach see your examples to rule which helps the learners to clarify the rule which they are going to learn fine next comes deductive approach where this rule is going to be stated by the teacher fine and further teacher asks the learners to give examples which are relevant to this rule fine teacher has give, states the rule and students are been expected to give examples this will be called deductive approach this deductive approach helps to verify the rule which they already learned see you at the end of inductive approach they have learned the rule they have stated the rule at the end of the deductive approach it helps to verify whether the learners really learned the rule concept or not fine this is about inductive deductive approach where the learners moves from examples to rule and rule to examples see here we have two ex uh, places examples the first example the set of examples have been provided by teacher so your teacher initiates to present examples fine whereas this at the end the examples will be given by the learners whereas the rule will be been stated by the students at the end of inductive approach fine this is how this will be the combination of two different approach that is inductive deductive approach where examples stated by teacher rule is going to be formulated by the learner further in order to verify whether the really the learners have learned the rule or not teacher is going to elicit the examples from the students fine this is about inductive deductive approach followed even in the skill of illustrating with the examples under the presentation aspect fine so with this we are discussed about the five different components of skill of illustrating with example such as under the formulation of example the three components formulation of simple examples formulation of relevant examples formulation of interesting examples whereas under the presentation aspects we have two different components the first one appropriate media in the appropriate media teacher uses either verbal media or non verbal media are in a combination depending upon the nature of the examples availability and the nature of the learners also fine under the presentation aspect the second component is in the approach follow approach followed that is inductive deductive approach inductive deductive approach is a scientific approach where learners will be taken from previous knowledge to the present and again present knowledge will be related to the previous so that examples to rule and rule to examples this is what the scientific principle which is been used in the skill of illustrating with examples 
fine so based upon all this content whatever we discussed i'm sure you all will be in a position to define what is skill of illustrating with examples yes so skill of illustrating with examples is a teaching skill which is very important teaching skill in which the judicious selection and proper presentation of suitable examples is done in order to help the students to generalize a concept idea or principle with a view of its understanding and application fine so examples are being provided for the learners in order to help them to learn concept better not that just we wanted to give example teacher gives example no teachers intention to provide example is in order to make the learners learning is easy we are helping them okay so when we help learners comprehend the concept or idea or principle better so that even they can take the content learning to the application level also they can able to relate into their day to day life situations so always teachers should keep in mind to provide simple interesting and relevant examples and by using appropriate media again depending upon the maturity level of the learner and the nature and availability of the examples okay at the same time teacher also should provide an opportunity for the learners to verify what they have learned by eliciting the example from the student side fine so overall skill of illustrating with examples is based upon inductive deductive approach where the learners are going to be taken from the learning known to the unknown fine so examples to rule and rule to examples will be the process in which will be followed in skill of illustrating with example i hope you all have learned about the theoretical foundations of the skill that is skill of illustrating with example in next session or in our next video let us try to understand one this same skill through our one demonstration thank you all